If you've ever had a situation where you had a part that was too big to 3D print on your print bed, I'm going to show you today how you can slice it and cut it in half so that you can get those nice prints on any size printer. Let's jump right into it. I started 3D printing this full Mark 85 Iron Man suit for my son for Halloween and some of the pieces are just simply too big for my Prusa Mark 3S. Fortunately, it's a pretty simple problem to fix. All you need to do is fire up Prusa Slicer and we'll get into that right now. Once you fire up Slicer, the problem is pretty obvious. This chest piece for the Iron Man suit is just far too big for the print bed. There's no way I can orient this that would make it fit. So what you're gonna wanna do is go over here to the rotate options and you're gonna find the axis that you wanna rotate this on. So in our case, we're gonna rotate it 90 degrees on the Y axis and that's gonna give this a nice vertical orientation. Now Prusa has this really cool tool built in right here it's just simply called cut. Now the cool thing is you don't have to fiddle with this. You don't have to move around the slice point. It's gonna pick the center automatically, regardless of how you have the model oriented on the print bed. And you can see in the options, it has keep upper part and keep lower part. You can deselect one of those if you just wanna keep one section of this, for example. In our case, we're gonna keep both. So we're gonna simply hit perform cut. And you can see that we have two perfectly sliced pieces. Now, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is, if you click over here, you can select each of these individually and you can move them around. And these would almost fit on the print bed without any further modifications, but we are gonna need some supports on this one. So I am gonna to have to delete one of them and print this in two separate prints. So we'll just select one of the pieces, hit delete. And then you can see that there are some, some errors on the model. So we'll go ahead and click that. It's gonna repair the model, which takes just a second. All right, the next thing we need to do is just figure out the orientation, how we actually wanna get this on the print bed. And I'm gonna select this tool, which is place on face. Now, it looks like this is the flattest face. So we're gonna go ahead and select that. It looks like this needs to be rotated just a bit in order to fit, maybe about like so. We'll move it and that looks pretty good. And we're gonna go ahead and slice it. I've got my support set up, so we should get an indication of if this is gonna actually fit on the print bed now. That looks good. I think this is gonna print just fine. So we're gonna go ahead and save this, export the G code. We'll get that out to the printer, and then we'll go ahead and do the same with the second file. Now, in an instance where maybe this was still too big or you needed to slice it again, you can run that cut operation as many times as you want. So you can slice this down into multiple smaller pieces. And then once you're done, you've just got two smaller parts that are printed on the printer. Now, let me know down in the comments below if you wanna see me do a tutorial on how to actually fuse these back together so that you've got one model again. Otherwise, uh, we'll see you next time. Hopefully that was helpful. Thanks.